Okay, so today I, I want to show you how to download and install the Raptor flowcharting software. Um, so this involves a couple of things, but let me show you first where to get it. So what I would do, close that. Uh, do a Google search for Raptor flowchart software, and you should see this link, this raptor.martincarlisle.com. It should take you to, to this page. <clears throat> and on this page, you'll find information about Raptor. Uh, there's information about some books, textbooks that use Raptor, if you're interested in that. Um, there's the download links. There are some also some links to some handouts to help you uh, use Raptor, as well as a uh, link to a YouTube series of YouTube videos to help you get started with Raptor. So what you would do here is you would download, don't click on that, that's the, an add link there, download link. Uh, this, you want the download the latest version here. So you would click on that and then you would save it. I'll do it, I've already downloaded this, but I'll go ahead and download it. <clears throat> so this is the download file and then, then you would run that. But uh, when you run that, um, Raptor, I think Raptor requires you to have the Microsoft.NET framework installed on your computer. And so some of you may have that installed already, some of you might not. So what what happens when you install, when you run that, in, that Raptor installation file, there early on it will tell you whether or not you have the .NET framework installed. And if you do not have it installed, if you get that message, you'll need to install the Microsoft.NET framework and it actually ask you do you want to go ahead and do this and it says and if you click yes it'll take you to a, a website a Microsoft website but um, when I tried to do that I don't think I was downloading the right thing that I needed I needed just the .NET framework to run things so what I would do is um, I would just do another Google search for Microsoft.NET framework And I would click on probably maybe this, this link right here, uh, microsoft.com slash net slash download. <clears throat> and there's two options here, build apps or run apps. I would click on run apps. And this is probably what you need here, this um, .NET framework. Okay. So uh, the next part of the video, I'll show you how to actually do that. And then once you install the .NET framework, then you can run that Raptor file again, and hopefully it will take care of the .NET Framework stuff. If you already have the .NET Framework installed, then you probably won't get that message when you try to install uh, the Raptor file. Uh, so anyway, I, I think that just um, depends on if you get that message when you try to install the Raptor file. If you get the .NET uh, message, then you want to exit out of your installation there and then download the .NET framework first. And the next part, I'll show you how to do that. Okay, let's try this. So I did a Google search for Microsoft.NET framework, and I'm gonna follow this link here. Let's close that. Follow this link here, this microsoft.com slash net slash download. and it takes you to this page. There's two options here, to build apps or to run apps. I'm just gonna go over here and click on run apps. That's my main goal here with Raptor. So under run apps, there's the .NET framework. That's what I think I need. So you can look at the system requirements if you'd like to. I looked at them uh, just a little bit ago. I'm, I'm running, um, Windows 7 here, which is an older operating system, but it also, this download says it should support Windows 10 and Windows 8, Windows 8.1, and so forth. So I'm going to download this and we'll see how it goes. I'm not going to do the survey though. Okay, so 
that downloaded it. I'm going to open it and run it. This is the dot. This is the .NET Framework version 4.7.2. Read the conditions. There. Okay, so it finally finished installing, downloading and installing. That took a few minutes. That probably took at least around five minutes. So this is the next step. So let's click on finish and see what happens. I think that's a good sign. All right, so that installed the .NET framework. So now, let's try to install this Raptor installation file. Let's try to run the Raptor installation file again and see what it says. Let's say okay. Do you want to run this file? Yes. Let's run it. Hey, and it didn't. It didn't tell us anything about needing the .NET framework, which I think that's a good sign. Um, if you don't have the .NET Framework, at this point it will tell you that you don't have the .NET Framework and it will actually let you go to a, a website, but I don't... I followed that website earlier and it, I don't think that was exactly what we needed. So I downloaded... I just did a Google search for Microsoft .NET Framework and I downloaded it that way. So now we're going to click the next button. We'll install Raptor there. I'll just click next, put it in the default location, and next. <clears throat> and we'll say yes. All right. Raptor has successfully installed. Click close to exit. Awesome. All right, so what do we have here? So do we have, looks like we don't have any shortcuts, but up here on the start menu, I have an option for Raptor now. If you don't see it there, you might have to click there. So let's just try to run it real quick and we'll see if it works. Awesome. So, so this is what we've got. So this is the area where you'd put your flowchart symbols. We can, um, I can increase the zoom on that so it's a little bit bigger. And this slider right here, you might think this is zoom at first, but it's not. This is the play speed. So this is how fast it's going to go through your instructions. And so if it's all the way up, then it will just run through them so fast and, and you won't see actually going through the steps. Of course, you probably don't want to have it all the way in low. So I usually put mine around there someplace or, or maybe there. And to run a flowchart program, you just click the play button up here. You want to go through the steps. And then another thing that you have is this thing called the master console. If you output information um, using the output uh, flowchart symbol, it will probably send the output here to your master console. So that's something that we'll, we'll refer to some. So over here on the left, you have the different flowchart symbols that are available. And, and also something I should point out is on the pull down menus, there's an option that says mode. So by default, you go into novice mode, but uh, later to do some more, the more of the advanced things, we'll switch to intermediate mode. Okay. So there, this is like a, a processing symbol. This is a, a function call or a, a call to a subchart or a procedure. There's input and output. There's a selection for if statements and then there's loops. If you switch over to intermediate mode, then that gives you the option of doing procedures and not just subcharts. But if you're in novice mode, then you can only do subcharts. So we'll talk more about that when we get to modules and things like that. So just a quick rundown on the on the options here. Under File, you have your normal file stuff, new files, open files, save files, and so forth. We've got 
And there's also a compile option. That's interesting. What does that do? Um, maybe not. Okay. Um, we have some edit options. So you can copy and paste flowchart symbols and stuff. That comes in handy with some of the more um, complex flowcharts. There's a scale, that's the zoom feature over here, I believe as well. There's a view, there's a run option, and you can actually step through things, so that, that's kind of handy for going through things one thing at a time. F10 also does that. Uh, I mentioned the mode. Uh, ink, I guess that you can maybe change colors and stuff, that's interesting. I'm not sure what that is, I've never used that. Uh, there's a window option. There's actually an option to generate code, which I haven't really experimented with that either. Maybe we'll do that some. And there's a help option. The help uh, option is actually pretty handy. So there's a um, general help, and there's all kinds of uh, topics and stuff on that. And I've used that quite a bit to for reference and things. So maybe you want to know, how do you do um, graphics? With Raptor, you can actually do some some graphical user interface stuff. So you can access the help topics on that, and it can show you how to do some of those things. All right, and then to get out of Raptor, you can just go to File and Exit. So that's a little information about how to download and install Raptor. So it looks like you need the .NET. .NET Framework, if you don't have that already installed on your machine. Um, if you don't know if you have it installed, you can try to install the Raptor program. And if you don't have it installed, it will tell you and, and that you'll need to download it. But again, to download the .NET Framework, I wouldn't follow their link. I would just do a Google search for Microsoft.NET Framework and follow that link and, uh, and download it from there. And then you can, then you can install the Raptor file. All right, hope that helps.